It's 6 1 RT News with Brian Dobson and Sharon Nee Violon. Good evening and welcome to 6 1. The headlines this lunchtime. Firefighters right across the globe are firing their water tanks and are being fired for firing their water tanks as they are having a water fight. In other main news, in Ireland we are looking at a serious, serious deficit of a budget. The budget of course has come and struck the nation, a strike has struck and other budgets of previous governments have um, had an unprecedented carrying out of this budget. Indeed, Sharon, Budget Cuts Crisis 2010, as it's now known, continues to unfold before our very eyes. The latest cut, of course, being the cut to the cuts. Yes, Brian, cuts to the cuts. We have had unbelievable strikes. Strikes from the unemployed. People uh, who are unemployed have gotten together, found themselves a union, found themselves an umbrella, and umbrellaed under the raindrops and marched on GPO. Now, Brian, we've had GPO marches right up since the Civil War to the to the War of Independence. And now in this latest War of the Budget, as it is now called, we are seeing that people, especially the unemployed, the 72,000 unemployed, are umbrellaing under this reign of budgets. Indeed, Sharon. I believe we have Minister of Social and Family Affairs on the line, Mary Hanson. Minister Mary Hanson, are you there? Yes. Minister Hanson, thank you for joining us on 6 One News. Minister Hanson, what can you say to our viewers to explain to them, to, to, to explain your position in cutting social welfare as much as you cut it down to one cent per week? Minister, well, what would you say to people in receipt? Of social welfare. Well, I would say to those I know, I, I would say to those that I know what it's like to be a mother. I myself, um, Brian, I started out as a teacher. I was then the I was then voted electro electronically by the electorate. Um, my father was in politics. I have seen right across the the um, the political front lines of politics. I became. I didn't know I was going into politics. I became a teacher, as I said, and then I found my way. I worked my way up with my um, blonde hair and my glasses and my easy go approach to life. I then became um, the minister for education. I did a very poor job in that, so much so that a man had to take over Bat O'Keefe. Um, I didn't want to be the gov the minister responsible for these cuts. So, um, but Jeff Minister, you are responsible for these cuts. And like you say yourself, when you were in the Ministry of Education, you also imposed some cuts there. Well, Brian, um, as I said to my other Brian um, in, 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 in the government, Brian, I said, look, Brian, I didn't want to do it. And he said, well, we move you into a different ministry. I said, I was a teacher. I can't be responsible for cutting... Um, services to children. Minister, with respect, you're not answering the question, Minister. Well, Brian, I'm telling you, politicians in general all try to answer questions, but somehow the wording and the editing, I know this it comes across as a live interview, Brian, but... I would have to leave it, Minister. You've bored us. Back to you, Sharon, in the studio. Sharon. Thank you, Brian. Um, Right across the board uh, today we are seeing that other ministers and other ministries and other ministers of um, the um, religious correspondence affairs tribunals have struck out at the idea of um, intermarrying um, the Catholics and the Protestants of the borderlines the borderlines people who, of course, are known for their um, borderline shopping. And Tracy Chapman, of course, came out with that very famous song about borderlines, across borderlines, I believe it was, yeah. um, Also, Madonna said that she found it very difficult to pursue her love interests and it left her in a state of borderline. And to continue this Madonna theme, 
We've heard that she's actually adopted an entire country in Africa. Sharon, what can you tell us about yes. Madonna's latest adoption? Yes, she, um, Madonna, of course, being one of the very um, most wealthiest women in pop, having spent her many, many decades, as she wouldn't like me saying it, but she spent many decades at number one. Um, she she chose a map uh, through a knife and somehow it picked Somalia that she was going to gut from the knife. She has of course um, adopted pretty much most of the, um, the the country of Somalia. Now she was um, going for Cambodia but it seems Somalia was more in need of her help. And I think Robert Mugabe came out with some controversial comments about this latest Madonna adoption. What can you tell us well, about this latest controversial uh, comments for sure? Well basically he, she drove um, a far more um, luxurious car than he did. So it was really a dance off between who had the most expensive helicopters over who had the most, you know, better public transport. And when it got down to it, Madonna won. And Katie Price now coming in trying to. Katie adopt. Price, of course, no, f no um, fear of the jungle has she. She, of course, has also um, put her kids up for adoption realising of course that she was a useless mother and Madonna would probably accept any child needing a, a, a better role model. Indeed sure. Mm -hmm. um, to other news now, Kira Knightley is set to have a jaw reduction. The uh, singer found an ad for a uh, three for two in boots and decided that she would go for this three for two in boots. Um, of course, she didn't realise that it was actually three surgical instruments that she would have to um, inject to make her jaw smaller. Of course, um, Kira Knightley, Brian, as you know, is known for her pouting, big, huge jaw. Um, the singer um, is set to have a jaw reduction and two other um, bodily functions will be um, either removed or um, restructured. And Brian Cowan said to address the nation tonight, I believe, on his reduction of both nose and lips. Sharon, what more can you tell us about Brian Cowan's face augmentation? <laughs> what? Brian Cowan, of course, no fan of television, um, has come out with his PR um, related buddies to, dis to describe himself as not just an ugly man, but a gentleman at heart. Really. The gentle giant. The gentle giant. Yeah. Circles. So, um, of course, avoiding his Copenhagen decision to do a U-turn on um, the um, the um, carbon reductions and the um, the green tax initiatives and the incentives to um, reduce, he has found an alternative measure into um, his. Um, reduction in his lips and his nose and we all look forward and wish him well in his surgical operation and if the knife slips Brian we do also um, hope that for some alternative government they will indeed fight all things that we dislike here on, on the 6-1 news. Brian, four seconds. Thank you Sharon and there we'll take a break. Good evening.